Hi there, I'm Pam Carr and I'm here today to make an Olivia skinny scarf for you and we're going to be using this, um, I've got a ball here that I've taken something apart and it's uh, Karen Simply Soft, it's a four weight and worsted weight, um, in the UK you'll call it Aaron and I'm going to be using a K hook uh, which is a 6.5 millimeter hook and to start this off we're going to be chaining 266 okay so I'm going to start off making a slip knot and this is going to be a long scarf it's going to be about 76 inches long and four inches wide so it's a real skinny scarf and they look so cool they really are beautiful so we're going to start off chaining so yarn over pull it through one yarn over pull it through two three four, five. Now I do have a how to crochet beginners crochet tutorial episode one that shows you how to make a slip knot and how to chain. So if you want to go and check that one out and then come back here, but I'm going to go ahead and chain 266 and then come back. Okay, so I've done 266. Now remember, don't chain it really, really tight. Try and keep your chains loose so that that one side of the scarf doesn't get pulled tight. Sometimes if you chain really tight and then you start to crochet, it loosens up as you work each row and the beginning row sort of pulls things tight. So try and crochet quite a loose chain. So that's 266. Now what we're going to do is we're going to double crochet into the third chain from the hook and then into each of the chains all the way down. So we're going to look here and you'll see that there's this, there's the one that's on the hook. There's this one, this one, and this one. So we're going to count one. We don't count the one that's on the hook. One, two, three, and we're going to double crochet into that one. One, two, three. So we're going to wrap the yarn around our hook and put it into that third chain from the hook. Yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over, pull it through two. Yarn over, pull it through two. That's a double crochet. And now when we finish at the end of this row, we're only going to have 264 because we didn't use those first two chains, right? So we're two less. Yarn over, go right into the next one. Yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, yarn over, pull it through two. And once again, I do have a tutorial devoted to teaching you how to double crochet, left and right handed. So you can always check those out. So we are going to work all the way down this chain. I'm sort of doing this in the air so I can be close to the camera for you. So all the way down, doing a double crochet into each chain. We always go right into the next one. There's one double crochet, yarn over, then we look for the next one, right into there. Easy peasy, all the way down until we've got our 264 double crochets, and I'll see you at the end. Hi there, so here we are, we're at the last few stitches here, so I thought we could just do those together. Double crocheting in each of these chains. It's a long scarf. <laughs> but people have asked me to do this. The people who um, saw my reel on my Instagram. And it was quite a while ago, but it just takes me forever. And what's, what happens is I live on an island and it's really slow to upload. So I'm at my daughter's, so I thought I'm going to try and get some YouTube videos done while I'm on the mainland with good Wi-Fi. And I can upload things a little bit faster. So yeah, we get to the end of here. And then we're going to chain five and turn our work, okay? And why we're chaining five is that's going to act as, here's the last one, go in there, okay. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna chain five. One, two, three, so that's like a double crochet and then we're going to chain two. So it's, it acts as a double crochet and a chain two because we're gonna make kind of a square window sort of effect on this, on this row, on row two. So now what we're going to do, we've chained our five and we're gonna skip two stitches, okay? So we're going to look at this. 
and we're going to skip two stitches okay so that's one two so we are going to double crochet into that third stitch and then that sort of acts as if it's a it's a double crochet and a chain two so now we're going to chain two chain two and then we're going to skip the next two one two and we are going to double crochet into the third stitch see how that opens up a nice little window there for us okay so now we're going to chain two one two and we're going to skip two one two and we're going to double crochet into the third one chain two skip two double crochet into the third one and you see how your work is starting to look but that beautiful foundation row of double crochet and now we're going to make all these little windows all the way down chain two skip two double crochet into the third stitch and I'll see you at the end of another long row so here we are um, you can see I've done my chain two skip two double crochet into the next one I've, got, I've, I've just done my last double crochet here to clear the way here so you can see what's going on and I have chained two I'm going to skip the last two and I'm going to double crochet into that last stitch there okay now to go into row three what we're going to do before we turn we're going to chain five again one two three four five and we're going to turn our work and now we are going to be skipping two stitches so i got to organize my yarn here so we're going to skip these two stitches that we the chains there and we are going to double crochet into the first double crochet and that is here's the double crochet and i always work into this right in front i don't go into the top i go into the one in front of it like that to a double crochet Okay, now we're going to count these two chains and we're going to go into the front of the double crochet there. So it's sort of skipping two stitch, chaining two all the time. Well, I didn't do that last here, you see, that's why I'm working ahead of myself here. Chain two, skip two, double crochet into the beginning the top of that double crochet you can either go on either side as long as you're consistent right chain two skip the two chains and I go in you can go into the top here I go in in front chain two skip two go in to the top of the double crochet on the row below okay and there you see our rows are continuing chain two all right so here we are at the end of row two i've chained two and I am now going to double crochet into the skip two and double crochet into that turning chain from the previous row. I guess it's chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and turn your work. Okay, now this next row we've already done with that chain five that. The first three are acting as a double crochet then we've got our chain two so we are going to be double crocheting into the top of the double crochet from the row below now we're going to chain two and we're going to go into the top into the top of the double crochet yarn over go into the top chain two ready to go on to the next and you'll see how that's making the squares again so we've chained two so we're going to go into the top 
that's this space here. Double crochet, chain two. And you can see that they're hope. We have 88 windows across if you've done it with the same amount of chains to start as I did. So we are going to work row one, two, row three, and then we are going to do row four and five exactly the same as this. So we're just going to chain two, skip two, go into the top of the double crochet row below, all the way across. Chain five, turn your work, skip two, double crochet into the top of the double crochet row below. Okay, so we're going to do th this one and then we're going to do two more rows. So we will end up at the end of row five. This is one, two, so we're going to do three, four, five in this way. Okay, chaining two, double crocheting into the very top of the double crochet from the row below. Okay, see you back. So here we are at the end of row one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, we'd count up to the third chain of the chain five in the previous, we do a double crochet into the top of there. Now we're going to chain three, or chain two, I think chain two, chain two, and turn the work, okay? So now we're going to be working on row six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this is going to be a double crochet. So what we're going to do is we're going to double crochet into each of the chain two stitches, one and to the top of this one two and then we're going to double crochet into the top of the double crochet from the row below like we've been doing all along but instead of chaining two all the time in between we're going to be double crocheting into each of those two chains okay you can actually find them better if you turn the work this way. You can see there's one there and two there. And then into the top. So we're doing two. Here we go. One. two over the chains and then into the top and this is how it looks see that do it again here I'm going in from the front you can do whichever works easiest for you for me going in from the front is easier and then going into the top of the previous double crochet. One, two chains, and then into the top of the double crochet, into the top of the two chains, and oh sorry, into this each of the two chain stitches, not into the top. One, two and then into the top of the double crochet and this is what we have and that's how our skinny scarf is going to look okay so I want you to go away and double crochet all the way down making two um, in one double crochet into each of the chain twos from the previous row and then a double crochet into the very top of each double crochet from the row below. Okay, see you at the end, and then we're done with our skinny scarf. So here we are at the end of the final row. As you can see, I have done two double crochet into each of the two chain stitches, one in the middle of the double crochet from the previous round, a double crochet in each of the chain twos all the way across. So now we're at the end. And we're left with this chain five from the previous row. So we are going to do a double crochet into the top of the first chain or, or, or into the first chain. You just have to sort of um, go into the holes there. It's not, it's not 
really easy to find and, and you don't need to be worrying as long as you can do your two double crochets into the first two chains of the chain five from the row below. And then we're going to do the third one into the one, two, third chain from the previous chain five. And then that is it. And we are going to cut the yarn and pull it through. And that is how the end is going to look. And here we have our long, skinny scarf. I've called it an Olivia scarf. And we've got the double crochet rows at the top and the bottom, and these nice windows in between. And this pattern is free on my blog, the Olivia Skinny Scarf free on my blog. I'll link it in the comments below. And also, um, it's for sale in my Etsy shop as a PDF, and you can get 30% off the price of that using the coupon code that will be in the description below. So I'll link it to the Etsy listing, and just when you get there, enter the coupon code, and you'll get 30% off the price of the pattern in my Etsy shop. So yeah, you can watch the video, you can get the free um, pattern, on my, the link to my blog post in the description below. And you can also buy the PDF 30% off from my Etsy shop. So check out the description below. And I forgot to mention that of course we're going to weave in the ends. So don't forget to weave in the ends before you wear your uh, Olivia skinny scarf. Yeah, please like and um, share this video as much as you like and uh, subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more of my videos ring Click on the bell and you'll be notified of any new videos that come out. Thank you very much for watching my video and I hope you love your Olivia Skinny Scarf. Thank you.